Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to talk about my projects. They're not any ordinary projects. It's my plant projects. Here is the poncetta that we got for Christmas. And if you see my last video, you know my orchid. Um, I made these my top two um, projects right now because after Christmas when all the leaves fell off this thing, my mother thought it was dead. Um, I did some research and I found out how you can tell if it's dead or not. I believe this works on any plant you have that has stems. It is said if you scratch right here and if it turns green, it's still alive. So that's what I did. I scratched on it and it turned green. So I'm like, you're not dead. That's good. Um, and my orchid I'm trying to bring back to life um, because when I first bought this guy I really didn't know much and so I had to cut the stems back pretty back in there because it wasn't looking so good so I cut all that back um, and I found for the poncetta a schedule that you should keep if you have a poncetta um, since we're in the month of May I'm going to tell you what you're supposed to do for May and I'll do this I'll show you the progress on my plants every week and I will give you an update every month of what you're supposed to do if you have this plant um, so it says right here for the month of May one month after you removed uh, into a cooler spot mid May it says um, cut all the stems back to a finger length about four inches. That's what I did last night. I cut it back. I measured it. They are about four inches each. So that's what I did. Then it says to ready for the plant's eventual growth spurt. Take this time to be plot the uh, poncetta in a somewhat bigger container. Which I just left it in the same container because it really wasn't that big. So like, just keep it in the same container. I did repot it. I used um, some new potting soil that we have. Um, it's, it's moisture control, which it will feed the plant as the plant needs water, so you don't overwater it. That's a plus. Um, she says she switches to a decorative pot. I don't care about the decorative pot at this point. I just want it to come back. Um, it says, take your time and water well to wake it up, which I have been doing every day. So, what I do is, when I get up in the morning, like I do with my orchid, I check um, the plant to see if it needs water. What I do is I stick my finger in about an inch or so, and if it feels moist, I'm not going to water it, but if it feels dry, I'm going to water I watered it this morning because it felt really dry, so I just put some water on it. Um, it says, now you can bring back to the sunniest spot in your home. So you want the sunniest spot. Um, this will keep the temperature up to 75 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the summer and into September. When you have, even if you have your AC on, that's a good thing. Continue watering on a regular schedule. You should begin to notice some Regenerations, stalks, sprouts, or leaves. I haven't seen any leaves. I just I just heard this yesterday, <laughs> so I'm not too sure about that. I'm a sign that you're halfway there. This is the best time to begin fertilizing too, and this tells you what kind of fertilizer you are going to need for this plant. Um, fertilize a couple times a month with a good complete fertilizer. Here's the fertilizer you need to have for this plant. Simply use a regular houseplant fertilizer mixed at half strength. So that's the um, fertilizer you're going to want to want for the poncetta. Anyway, that's all I know. Um, I don't use fertilizer for my orchid. Um, I haven't heard anybody use fertilizer for the orchid. But I might try it. I just have to do some research on the orchid. So, yeah. So these are my two projects. Um, Next week, I'll give you an update on how they're doing, um, which I'm hoping, at least for the poncetta, that I have like some growth or something. 
just something at this point. Um, it, I'll, and every month um, on the same day, um, I'll give you what you're supposed to do on that month for the Ponsetta only, unless I have some news about my orchid. But like I said, I'm going to do some research um, on if I can use fertilizer for the orchid and what to use and how to use it and all that. So, that's today's video. So stay tuned. Next week I'll show you how they're both doing. And I hope to see you next time. That's my video. Hit that like button if you liked it. All my social media emails in the description below. Thank you.